So we played the three uh, pretty straightforward basic modes. Now we're going to get to the more interesting stuff. Uh, this one's going to be live fire. This is one of also my favorite modes to play, again, mainly because it's pilot focused. But uh, there's two teams of six. You get one minute rounds with one life per round. There are no Titans. Most interestingly, there's a whole bunch of custom maps for this mode. And inside of each of these maps, there's a flag in the center. Uh, the round is over when a team loses all of its players or when the timer expires. And if a team is holding the flag when the timer expires, they win. So the idea here is to kill all of the enemies or be holding the flag when the round ends. Okay. Um, as I said, these uh, maps are new and unique. Um, one of the things is they're much smaller, they're pilot focused, and they're almost all symmetrical. Um, because oh, it's more weird. kind of an arena thing. Interesting. Yeah, unlike some of the other ones. But the idea, you see the uh, map there in the center. Um, you see the players up there. It's supposed to be five players, and we started with four for some reason. But um, you get one life, and you got to be holding the flag at the end. And since um, it's only a minute long, like you got to get on that flag pretty fast. Okay. There are pros and cons of grabbing the flag early. If you grab the flag early, people can see where the flag is on both teams. True. So like they're going to come for your ass. So one of the strategies is kind of wait till the last ten seconds or so before grabbing the thing. But. So is it um, capture the flag style flag where you bring it with you? No, you just have to be holding it. That's what I thought. So like he grabs it right here and I stupidly start going after him, not realizing there's a guy right behind me. Okay, so what happens if the time uh, time expires and nobody's holding the flag? I believe it's a draw. It doesn't matter how many pilots you have left on, on the sides? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm using the car with the uh, pulse knife for this build and uh, smart pistol. Um, like the pilot versus pilot mode, there is no Titan buildup, so it just builds towards your boost ability, which is the smart pistol here. Do you even get enough charge in a round for that? It's hard. You need like two kills to get the pistol. It's all damage based, so I guess if you shoot guys and they run away, maybe. But the uh, I should mention the boosts uh, activate at different charge levels. The smart pistol being one of the highest ones, it's like seventy percent gauge or something like that. Pro here using the Mozambique. Wow, what a god. That was sick. <laughs> I want to use a Mastiff, but worse. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we mentioned earlier, a lot of people think that the car is the best submachine gun, mainly because it's super laser accurate um, for the fire shots. Like, best is... I don't know. How do you, uh, it, I oh. wouldn't say best. It's just, like, maybe the easiest to use. That's true. Maybe the most easy, easiest to yeah. use. Like, I personally hate the Volt. I can't use that one. Oh, the Volt sucks. I mean, I've seen people be really good with it. It's just... Well, it's yeah. not that it sucks. All right. The Volt is like the Mac 10 Watch this shot. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> people in chat there are like, oof. <laughs> Roblox oof noise. <laughs> yeah, hitting something with the uh, charge laser is kind of a style move. That reminds me of that, uh, I want to say it's Halo 3 gun. Do you know the one I'm thinking of? Where it's just the big-ass red laser that you shoot at people? The Spartan laser? Yeah, Spartan laser, thank you. Similar feels, except that is actually pretty good. Okay, so he Ooh, got nice. the map, or he got the flag, I killed him and did not, or and picked it up there, and then I uh, got my ass shot and got stolen. Yeah, because they can see exactly where you are when, um, you have the flag, so it's not really a smart idea to grab it, unless, of course, you're playing with like a team that, with, like on voice comms or something. One person grabs it and goes hides and uses it as bait. I've seen that happen a lot. Because then all the other players will just hide and shoot people running in. Yeah, it's it's much better to grab it if you're like winning by a lot, I guess. <laughs> Somebody's asking, why is the car a sniper? I mean, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> It does have a pretty big damage fall off, but it's still extremely accurate. I I don't know. Does it do the least damage of all the SMGs? I think it does. I think so. It's also I think the fastest firing behind. Well, I think the uh, 97, the R97, the or no, the, yeah, 97, yeah. But it is quite fast. I was real stupid here. I should have used the smart pistol I had. But, um, 
I mean, you didn't realize your whole team suddenly died within like 30 seconds, so... <laughs> it, it's just a, fa a fact in this mode you should just use Smart Pistol when it's up. Yeah. I don't think I actually ever use it in this mode. It's a game anyway. This map is like so small. Well, small for Titanfall yeah. too. Yeah, how about that? As you can see, someone on the enemy team has map hat, which means you have to fucking uh, start booking it if map hack is activated. <laughs> and in case that is not incredibly obvious, what that is, it's just the uh, wall hacks. Yeah, you can see people through walls. Oh, but it also makes them show up nope. on radar, right? Um, you show up in radar if you move or fire, but like it shows like your silhouette through walls. Wow! Like right. Yeah. This uh, grenade's real good. Like he must have seen you jump in there and just chucked it. What a god! Oh wow! Yeah, Dude, there are some people cool. that like are exclusively with grenades, and they're really good at them. You're playing against the kill squad right now, my dude. Yeah. Seriously. This is what it's like when you play multiplayer in this game. And it hasn't just come out on Steam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these is pretty much. I think what I, I did these actually like the week before it went on Steam sale. Yeah. So yeah, these are still the veteran dudes as opposed to the newbies. I should go and do newbies and get like a ridiculous KB score in like PvP <laughs> or something. Could have sworn that would have killed, but uh, there is sometimes lag compensation a bit. Oh, speaking of the world. Yeah. So I think this video has three maps because uh, these live fire matches generally tend to go very quick. I lost the Canadian Goose God. <laughs> you did shoot Jesus again. Oh, you love a Canadian Goose. You love him. I really like this map. This one's good. This map shows up in other modes. I don't remember what it's called. No, this is only a live fire map. I guess it's it really? all these live fire maps are unique. I guess I played live fire with you at some point then you and did. forgot about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Car is too stupidly accurate. It's not even the the aim down sights accuracy, which is like sure there are assault rifles that are that accurate. It's the fact mm -hmm. that you can hip fire, hip fire, and hit somebody fire. from that far is fucked. Around with my loadouts here for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, trying getting to smart pistol again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because like I was doing these videos, like I want to show off the different boosts, and so like I'll pick smart pistol and I don't use that too often. And like I don't think I use it in any. You don't actually videos. remember, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I don't have the opportunity. You have to get a lot of gauge to use smart pistol. And the one like, time you use the babble round, yeah, last the one second, you immediately won. Yeah, I think you mentioned this, but smart pistol, uh, like. Basically, you need like a titan's worth of gauge almost to use that. You need so. at least two kills, and it's kind of hard to do in this sort of uh, situation when there's only five dudes on the other team. And, well, and also they don't respawn, meaning yeah, you need to kill like basically half their team by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, so you can switch your loadouts while you're dead or wait for maps to you know, go. Now, how many shots do you need to kill somebody with a smart pistol? It depends on how locked on it is. Um, if you're very close ah, and give okay. it a long time, it's one. Um, if you don't have it fully lock on, or if you're far enough away, it's like three or four. But it's not like dumb, like the single player version. It's just one uh, shooting everything. It's kinda, yeah, they kinda toned it is. down a little bit, but you can still kill dudes super quickly with it. Yeah. Like three or four shots with that is yeah, it's really fast. Very fast. Yeah. I'm mad. I should have got that kill there because I had at least hit at least twice there. I think uh, the second shot you clipped him with one bullet is yeah. what happened. The um. Double take, by the way, also has projectile travel time on it. So, uh. Yeah, it fast, nice. though. Yeah, you have to lead your shots with that. Unlike the Crabber. This is, this is like my loadout weapon wise that I play a lot in this game. The double take and the auto pistol. You're doing. I'm running. I'm running the hollow build for this, so like you'll see whenever I go out, like I'll throw dudes in front of me. Hopefully, let me survive for a second. You're also doing something that 
I think a lot of people would not associate with having a sniper rifle, which is using iron sights. But yeah, it works way better. It's hella good on the double take. That mass dipped right there pretty hard. <laughs> Mozambique. That camera is not lagging the model. Yeah, they give you the option for third person. I don't know why you would ever spec in third. In a game this fast. Oh, you can actually play in third person? No, you can spec them. Ah, no, sorry, spec. Okay. Yeah, spec three. No, yeah, I thought you meant like a, like a perk load or something. What? <laughs> wow. Nice. That was slick. Holy shit. I think I switched the G2 for one of these videos. I was someone who I really liked the G2 when I when I first was playing this game, and then I realized that the double take is kind of just the G2 still, and yet if you it does more damage. You have bad better because you get more shots. But right. Double take will kill faster. Unless you miss them like this. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you can if you hit them with both of the two bullets that are coming out. You can two shot somebody with a double take. Yeah. Like it like you can hit him in the legs even. It doesn't matter. You'll still two shot him. I kinda like because you're going through the weapons and some things it's like in G forty five and then you have something like level two right below that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trapping people with the uh, gravity star is a good way to kill them if you are bad at shooting. That guy, I feel so bad for him. He went for the wall run and just got stuck. Yeah. I mean, that guy still missed quite a bit for a guy who was getting sucked by the star. Sucked in. That's better. Star sucker. Yeah. Oh, this shot. I, I wasn't even mad at this death right here. This is a fucking pro shot right there. Oh. Watch the replay on this one. This guy fucking charged and no. just fucking hit me in the gut with it. <laughs> That was luck. That was luck. That was not skill. I don't no, no, no. I think that's the same guy who has been doing that's that shit with the grenades. Like... Yeah. My like, dude, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pays to have Jesus on your team. I always ride with Jesus. He's my wingman. Yeah? Does Jesus get you laid a lot? <laughs> no. <laughs> Weird. I, I com compared to the previous round, it feels like like you're still losing, like 4-2, but it feels like they're going much... Uh, much more balanced? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, this, these two matches are a bit more balanced than the last one, evenly matched. Cool, though. <laughs> Miss yeah, with, with an, <laughs> miss with an entire round of the <laughs> hyper accurate, and then just like man, fuck it. Mag <laughs> dump, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's what I say after every game of Titanfall. You know. <laughs> Jesus, take the Titan. I should have drank before, though. I'm, not, I'm actually better at these sorts of games if I have a beer or two <laughs> in me. <laughs> I joined in progress on one of these maps, I think this one. Yeah, Flatline is pretty good. I use it here. Um, I love the whole deal this with this thing is, like, its recoil is just left to right on it. And it's also decently hipfire accurate for an assault rifle, anyway. Uh, this is, like, okay. the, wiggle, the Wiggles gun, so the way yeah, that... the Wiggle guns. Yeah, so the way that it works is, yeah, like he said, since the recoil is only left-right instead of up-down, you are not fighting to move your mouse up or down when you're shooting somebody, right? You just have to, like, kind of wiggle it back and forth, and if you know how to do it right, it's pretty laser accurate. Yeah, oh, and like I said, like, hip-fire-wise, it's one of the better hip-fire for assault rifles. It does a shitload of damage, too. Yeah. I don't know that it does the most assault rifle damage, but it does a lot. The L Star does the most. Or is that a machine gun? I don't know what class. I think L Star is technically a machine gun. Yeah. Speaking of machine guns, any any of them actually good in PvP? Yeah, they're all good. Uh, people use the Spitfire a lot more because of the wind up time on the devotion. 
But I've seen a lot of dudes get really good with the L star too. <gasps> you just smelled that man's bullet. You're yeah. so lucky. Yeah, smart pistol. I think he gets real mad here. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. Let's... Like, yeah, really, it's a smart pistol. What do you want? I just left clicked until you die. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm talking shit. It's Imagine like getting mad about in game items. Kind of wish I had the uh, double take for that. If love... there's a guy like traveling in the air at like a direct speed, you can hit him pretty well with uh, like double takes and crabbers and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's when they're all like glitchy on walls and jumping around like crazy people that uh, they're hard to hit. Hot garbage. I, I fucking love how the flat line looks. It's such a yeah, cool it's like look. A future AK. It's the most future AK. It kind of the way that I describe it is like. Imagine if the RoboCop gun was an AK. <laughs> oh, that's a good. The RoboCop gun kind of looks like that machine pistol. It does. You're right. Imagine being mad at someone who killed enough people to get to use a smart pistol and then they use it. <laughs> <laughs> that's Why like being you? like that's like being like <laughs> no confidence in your own body had to use a titan to kill me i see how it is <laughs> how well, dare you use something that got real salty over the stupidest of things now, are you telling me that people online will get mad at anything wow unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> it's like dude chill it's a video game <laughs> I mean, like, the only defense I could have for that is, like, I was 13 once, so I understand. Yeah, I was now 13 Now I'm older, once. and I'm not as mad, but... Damn, imagine being 13 in 2020. You must suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just noticed you get an indicator when you're in range of, um, of a pulse knife. Yes. It'll show you that. And it also shows That's you when, good. like, map hack's active. So, like, you know if that shit's going down. I think you said this, but Pulse oh, Knife is pretty good in this mode. Uh, yeah. Being able to see people through walls is very nice. And yeah, the, anybody who uses a crabber with the kill counter on it is uh, <laughs> very pro at video games, we'll put it that way. Oh, you need to prestige the gun for, for the, guy, the counter, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. It's, which is not hard to do, but like that guy had like 900 kills on the thing. Jesus. Oh no, Jesus was the other guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Use the hologram, but it's not going to help when I see. The Why original. would he do that? <laughs> that was so silly. That's an amp wall from our team, which is good. I tried shooting through it there, but there's not a whole lot going on. Um, so the hologram just goes in a straight line when you shoot it. Sorry, the what? The hologram. Yes, it goes whichever direction you're facing, and it does whatever you're doing. So, like, if you're crouch walking, it will crouch walk forward, which is useless. <laughs> but it'll generally run or wall run or be in the air, you know? So the reason that it was kind of like silly the way that he did that is that he was moving sideways. So yeah, if he was looking down the hallway. Right. So by making his hologram go that way, his hologram didn't like run forwards because he wasn't running forwards. It just hung out. And yeah, it just fell. kind of like yeah. looked like he took a 90 degree turn in midair, which is. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> fell down. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, I wonder which one I have to shoot. <laughs> I have seen, so one of the boost powers is a multi-hologram, which shoots five of them out. And I have seen people use that and just run forward with five of them and completely freak out other people. <laughs> nice. Because you just can't tell who's who. The most tiny miss shit. Smoke. Yeah, so if you're with your team and can get the flag early and get back to your side, this map is very difficult. But um, he dropped the flag midway through. Uh, yeah, reason. we were on this map when we played together, and we also got bodied on this map really hard. I remember. Because of exactly what you just said, which is them taking it, running back to their side, and then sniping us. Yeah. Oof. Do 
You know how they have heat maps for FPS games? I wonder what the heat maps look like for Titanfall. It must look crazy because of all the wall running <laughs> and stuff. That's true. You see a lot of like outside of the map kills. I mean, I guess by nature you have to go to the center, but sure, of course. But I, but still, like compared to a Call of Duty, right? You don't have somebody just like hanging out on a wall when they kill someone. Yeah, it's not like D D E dust or anything. No. <laughs> Jesus, so many knives. Yeah, that's why it's good in this mode <laughs> because you can tell exactly where everyone is. Yeah, so if this guy was yeah, being smart, he would come back to our side of the map, and that's, I think, why I sat here, because I was hoping people would run by so I could shoot him in the back, but no one did. We all went to their side and died horribly. Instead, he took the flag to them and died with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I almost hit him with a knife. If you get a direct hit with that knife, it's instant kill. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I didn't know Pulse that. knives are instant kill if you hit them. Like the ultimate styling on somebody. That would be really hard to hit somebody with, though. Yeah, I already had it prepped because I was trying to see around the corner, but I just missed. Hot garbage. 